What is cracking you fishing Jamokes? Once again, it's your boy Eastern PA Fishing here. And once again, we are on another trout fishing mission. Hopefully my voice doesn't sound too weird. A lot of vibration going on here. Anyway, we're making our way to a spot now on the creek and there should be a ton of fish there that are ready to bite. We just stopped them yesterday. I'm not exactly sure the timeline of my videos right now but that might be a couple videos ago at this point. Anyway, should be a good episode. Stay tuned. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. And we have arrived down at the spot. Just got to carry my bike out. I'm going to put it on those rocks just so no one can mess with it. There should be a lot of fish here. Holy smokes. This one's setting off firecrackers. There's a little weak one. Oh, there's another. Start out fishing the little yellow worm. Berkeley trout worm, three inch. Shouldn't take long. There we go. Freaking drag is all loose. Alright, he released himself. About the best thing that can happen. I added a very tiny strike indicator about four feet away from my worm. Pretty far away. But I think it's essential that it's that far away. It's a pretty deep hole, a lot of fast moving water. There we go. Got this one. Swimming right towards us. Another rainbow. It's like the strike indicator worked. <laughs> oh man, I wish he would just release himself. There he goes. Another quick release. Not really worth handling him at this point. Let's get the fun action of fighting him. Looking for some browns. We stocked a lot of browns. What do we got here? Rock bass. It wasn't far enough out into the current. A lot of these panfish will be hiding in the slack. Just waiting for something to come by. Every once in a while, take your indicator. Give it a couple squeezes. Just dry it out a bit. It'll work a little better. We're going to dig around in my tackle box. See what spinners I have on me. One eighth of an ounce. Orange colored gold bladed rooster tail i found a very tiny ball head jig in my tackle box and i'm gonna pair it with this tiny little swim bait definitely not the prettiest rig here we are running out of time here and i am running out of patience for these trout i know there's a ton of them out there just stocked them yesterday the dude upstream is catching a few but he's using a fly rod so i have a size 2 panther martin hopefully this is going to be the lure that saves the day There we go, finally. It's been a while. But the blue, size two, Panther Martin got us another bite, even though we lost him, it's all right. Man, the little tiny lure that saves the day. I don't think I've landed a fish yet today. Oh snap, that was a nice rainbow. Big old rainbow out there. There we go. Got him this time. Might even be the same one. Let's land him. I get him over here to get some hands on this fish. Oh man, the little lure that saves the day. There he is. See you, homie. I don't know if the rain's gonna affect the bite. But hopefully it only makes it better if it does. <sighs> Not even a trout. Smalley time. Another size two Panther Martin. Must've got a little too close to a sunfish bed. 
Let's see, honey. Pink. Blue Fox Spinner. Size zero. That's weird. Size four Panther Martin. Nice color on that. Only 5% left on the GoPro charge. That little blue Panther Martin was the lure that saved the day. Holy smokes, gigantic rainbow. Hopefully I can land it before the GoPro dies. Oh my gosh, dude. No! What is cracking you fishing, Jamokes? Once again, it's your boy Eastern PA Fishing here. And once again, we are on another trout fishing mission. So in my last video, I lost an absolute giant. So we're heading back to that same spot now. Hopefully gonna catch that fish and many others. It should be a good episode. This is the spot of that giant that I lost last time. I'm gonna take off my jacket. It's a little hot. Alrighty, start throwing around that same size two. See if we can find that fish again. Yeah, I'm not even getting a follow now. Maybe we'll go below the dam. I don't really want to, but now here, ladies and gentlemen, this is where the boys become men. Yeah, you don't want to fall on this. A little trout right there in front of us. Yeah, you fall on that, you're getting washed away, man. It's good to be strong, fellas. It's good to clean your bike off every once in a while as well. Yeah, we just had some pretty big rains here and we stock right up above this dam. So it almost makes me wonder how many fish are stupid enough to get washed down here. And I also don't know if that makes them stupid or smart because this is definitely the better spot for them to be in. They can survive here almost year round. Well, that is a smallmouth, not a trout. We'll take them. A little smallmouth bass. Whew. Almost got my foot caught there. That would have been a wrap on good old Eastern PA fishing here. This is the fun part with a bike. Yeah, there's just enough rocks for me to get a little bit of footing. And we made it. All right, is my bike gonna be safe there for two seconds? I don't even know. I hate to have that thing stolen. All right, let's get my bike and move down just a little bit. Oh, all right. The dam was kind of a bust. I was hoping to come back there and maybe at least even see that giant trout that I lost, but he was nowhere to be seen. So we are heading further downstream, past some pretty good spots here on the left. Tried to fish down there as far as I could. It's a little pain to walk your bike out of there after a while. Next spot, Stone Bridge. Oh, had him. Ooh, got this one. Yeah, there's a lot of them right next to this bridge. Let's see if we can land this dude. First one for the day. Oh, that is a nice freaking brown. Not a bad trout to start the day. On that size two. Panther Martin, man. Here we go. See you, homie. Ooh, that was a bite like right away. Got someone else's line. There we go. Oh man, had him. Oh, had him. Let's move away from the bridge a little. Just gonna put my bike out on these rocks. That way nobody can come by and steal it. That ain't going nowhere. Now we're ready to catch some more trout. There we go. Got this one. As soon as that thing hit the water. He seems all right. Hopefully he stays on here. What do we got? Another brownie. Love me some brownies. And there he goes. That's all right with me. Got the action we were looking for. All right, let's move down. Switched up our rig here. We actually have an ice fishing jig head. And on there, I put a very tiny little swim bait. There we go. Got this one. What do we got here? It's like a nice rainbow. Yep. That's what he is. It's a real nice rainbow. Pretty looking one. And he's gonna flip around on us and release himself as usual. Back again. Down here one more time. Down by good old stone bridge. Hi. The ice fishing jig head with this little tube on it.
Oh, right in front of us. Mini rainbow. Very tiny little rainbow. Slick looking little fish though. Nice green colors on him. I'm gonna send him on his way. See you, dude. Back at this spot. Hopefully I don't hook into anything too big. Never be able to land it from up here. There we go. Got this one. And he's decent too. Oh man. Not gonna be able to land him too well from up here. I'm gonna just have to do my best. Ah, boat flip. Don't let him touch the ground. Don't let him touch the ground. Don't break my line. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Another for the day. Can't wet the hands from up here, but good enough. He ain't gonna die. <laughs>